In memoriam, Curtis Kitty Cohn, April 7th, 1944, March 21st, 2015. The Paul K. Longmore Institute on Disability, San Francisco State University. I think activists are, are made. I think that it depends on what kind of situations you encounter as you're growing up. It depends on whether you're ambitious in the sort of traditional sense and want to make a big, a whole lot of money, uh, then activism probably isn't the best path. But I certainly think that the things that happened in my life determined the fact that I would be an activist. I think I really did not realize that how significantly oppressed I had been around my disability until the 504 sit-in, actually. I came out of that with a whole understanding of the fact that I'd been kicked out of two schools, essentially, because I was disabled and that so many choices in my life had been circumscribed by the fact that I had a disability. But I began to be involved with um, the Center for Independent Living. And because all I had ever done in my entire adult life was organizing, the director, Ed Roberts, said to me, what would you like to do? So I said, I don't know how to do anything besides political organizing. And he said, well, then that's what you'll do. One of my characteristics is that when I was young, I could learn an issue really fast, and then I could move on to something else because that was sort of the way, maybe it has to do with my history of moving around and having to learn new people and new situations. I don't know why, but I could learn something very fast, and then I would um, be assigned to organize around it, and then I would be moved on to some other issue. And I think that was kind of hard for me because I never really got to stick with one thing well enough to learn it very, very well. But with 504, I definitely learned it in my gut because it was such a profound experience, the whole thing. And we really had to know what we were talking about. I, I personally believe that when you work together with people in a common cause over a period of however long, but usually it's maybe a number of months or years, that you begin to feel a sense of love for those people because they're dedicated to the same thing that you believe in. But this was a really molten pot of lava that was put together, and people just really developed incredible bonds of love for everybody else. My favorite memory was when we came out of the building and we'd won, you know, and I was happy to be out of the building. I was so happy that we had won. And, you know, just the feeling around was so happy and victorious and proud and loving and just, you know, that was my favorite moment. The, the thing I regret is that we didn't take more time to develop more leadership because that's my favorite thing ever to do is to work with new people or younger people and sort of make sure that they're learning how to organize at the same time as we're building an action. That's always been what I'm the best at. I think we could have done a better job in the building but the problem was that there was so much to do. And you know, it, I really believe that if there's a lot to do and you do it yourself, you're not getting the maximum out of it. You know, if you train other people, you're, they're going to be, carry on. And, and that happened to a large extent because of the people who had come in from the paralegal program. But on the other hand, I feel like I wish I could have had more time to work with these really new and fresh and wonderful people who had so much talent. And I mean, a lot of these people went on and 
did wonderful things with, you know, with their, what they had learned. And I think that's my only regret, that there wasn't more time to, or somehow or other, we didn't do that as well as we could have. But, but I still think we, it was a wonderful action. Excerpts from an interview conducted by Emily Smith Batix on November 8th, 2013, recorded by Sachi Cunningham, edited by Hang Chang. To learn more about the Section 504 occupation in which Kitty Cohn played a key role, visit the Longmore Institute's Patient No More, People with Disabilities Securing Civil Rights Exhibit. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash longmoreinstitute.sfsu.edu forward slash patient no more.